Hey guys, welcome back to my humble abode. And the last time you were here, we did a smart home video talking about how we can use voice to control the home. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you some of the cool places you can have smart home devices that are just not lights within the home. So let's check it out. Ah. Okay, so you guys are wondering why I am in bed. And if you are, Definitely hit the subscribe button and notification icon to see more videos of fun things I do on the channel. Now, we're talking about different smart home products. This is a smart mattress from 8sleep. And what I like about it is that the 8sleep pod, which is what I have here, comes as a full system that does, of course, your uh, sleep tracking, as well as also regulates temperatures of your bed. So this is a queen size mattress. It's got two sleeping zones and two tracking zones, which means for me, I like my side warmer I can keep it warm with the, the pod. Now the pod has distilled water in there, which allows you to regulate the temperatures. You can keep one side cooler, which board firm likes, and I like my side warmer. And you can have two separate accounts within the app to do that, which is great. Now, in terms of the sleep tracking though, that is the best aspect of this because it does a really intense job. I've got my sleep report for pretty much the whole year. And you can see my sleep fitness, how well I sleep, the times I go to bed, you can also see uh, the times I fall asleep, time, how long it takes me to get out of bed, which February was one of the worst months because it's really cold and I take my time. And also you can check out my heart rate, uh, how well I get into deep sleep, tons of metrics that honestly makes it superb. And I like it because I don't have to wear a smartwatch. I can do this on my phone and I can also use voice controls with Google and Alexa. Now, speaking of voice controls, there's something else I do have in this room. Now, I've got shades behind me, and these are from a company, Lutron. Now, I wanna give a big shout out to my boy, uh, Quinn from Snazzy Labs, because he is the one who put me onto this. Now, the Lutron shades are great. It's simple and easy to install. I don't, I'm not showing the installation process here, but what I like about them is that you've got full control. I can use Google or Alexa to basically open up my blinds, and I can say stuff like, hey, Google, open up blinds and it's gonna open up the binds behind me and you're gonna see that whole process. Now I can also use the physical controls, which are right here to open up the blinds. And that's also really nice with the Pico controls. It's simple, it's easy to use, and it makes it quite easy to have shut up blinds in your room and also work with your whole connected ecosystem. All right, so I did say I wasn't going to talk about lights, but I will talk about light switches from Lutron. Now, I love them because you can install them anywhere within your home. They have a regular light switch and it works like a regular light switch, but it also has Wi-Fi connectivity. And this is done through the Lutron bridge, which I have connected to one of the routers within the home. Now, I like it because look, as I mentioned, easy to turn on and off through the switch, but you can also do it through the app. And that's where I can control all my Lutron and Evil devices, like the Serena Shade that you saw earlier, as well as also my lights. I can set it at different levels. It is simple, it is easy to use, and honestly, it is fantastic. Now, I'm in the living room, and honestly, this is where I spend a lot of time. And the air quality here can get stuffy because I don't have the windows open a lot of time, which is why I use an air purifier. And the one that I like using within my house is the Samsung Cube air purifier. I like it because it's got one really cool functionality, which is about location awareness. It checks the air quality outside and also what you have inside, matches if it is poor or good, and it turns on to improve the air quality you have at home. Now, the location awareness is great because as you're getting closer to the house, it knows that you're getting close and it turns on to basically get you the right air quality that you're used to. Again, for me, that is simple and it's easy and it's honestly no fuss. You can control it on the app, but that's not why I really like it. All that location awareness is great. Now, I have mentioned a ton of applications and a ton of devices already before even going through the rest in the video. And this brings me to our sponsor Qualcomm with Wi-Fi 6E and why it's so important because my next device, which is a router, a mesh router, is Wi-Fi 6E uh, compatible. This is the Linksys Atlas. Now, what I love about the Atlas is that it is a mesh Wi-Fi router with Wi-Fi 6E support. And what does that mean for you in general? It means that you have a dedicated six gigahertz lane for connectivity for 
any device that supports Wi-Fi 6E. So I do have my Galaxy S21 Ultra, which does. I do have my PC upstairs, which also, and more devices that support that basically will use that dedicated line. But that's not the only benefit. Now this system can support up to 195 devices. Now I've got a ton of lights connected. I've got my smart TVs connected. I've got all the devices that you see in this video connected to this. So that brings it the real importance of what Wi-Fi 6E can actually do and what Qualcomm brings to the table for higher speeds, better connectivity, connecting more devices, and again, better coverage across your home. So I've got three of these mesh Wi-Fi hubs around the house, giving me connectivity from my door to my yard outside and having full coverage all the way. So honestly, this is probably one of the most important things you wanna to add to your smart home to ensure that all your devices as we continue stay connected. And while I'm sweating underneath the lights, let's go ahead and check out the most important thing we have in the house, which is our air conditioner. Stay cool in the house. We've got split AC units in different rooms and they are from LG. And why I like LG here is that they've got Wi-Fi connected units that connects through their ThinQ platform, which is great, which means I don't have to use this cumbersome remote or look for the remote. I've got voice controls, which I, I can easily use, but I can also jump into the app on my phone, which I have handy all the time to change the temperature, to change the fan speed, uh, to look at airflow, or even just schedule when my air conditioning turns on. Now, as you can clearly see here, we have a few other appliances from LG that have taken up our smart home in a whole different level. Ford Femme here, and I am going to be talking about some of my favorite home appliances. Now, everything for me is about speed and efficiency, and I love everything in my home to make my life super easy. And today, I'm going to show you the LG Wash Tower. Now, I absolutely love this thing because it makes my life so much faster. Now, <laughs> historically, if you are going to put your clothes in the, in the washer or the dryer, you have to select through a bunch of options. So what's the cycle speed? What's the, what kind of water do you want? Hot water, cold water? I love this thing because I don't have to do any of that. So I pop my clothes in there and I click normal speed and it actually detects the material and how big the load is. Now, that is such a time saver. The same thing goes for the dryer. You no longer have to guess how long the clothes need to be in the dryer. You just click start and it detects it for you. So when the clothes are dry, the washer knows and you are done. So the cool thing about the application here is that uh, you've got all the ThinQ devices in uh, and I can jump into my wash tower here and see what's going on with my uh, wash. So uh, my dryer, there's nothing in there. It says it's normal. It does the auto detect, which is great. And I can see all the things that I want to do in here. I've got pre-wash off and all that stuff. I can't change anything because it's actually running. But if I had something in the dryer, I can also go ahead and set that. I can go in and I can also download different cycles as well. So. You've got different things you can download. And as BoardFem says, it does most of the work for you. So this is just me checking to see what it does. All I wish is that LG puts a robotic arm so you can move my laundry from washer to dryer and I'm good. Now, this is the final piece of LG smart hardware that I actually have. And this is the LG Cord Zero All-in-One. Now, what I like about this is it's got its own tower and that tower serves multiple purposes. Number one, I can put all the accessories and extension to it. It also houses the second battery, which has two batteries for this. And it has an auto dump feature, which means when you're done vacuuming with this bad boy, you don't have to open it up and mess around. You literally just plug it back in and voila, it sucks everything out. Boom, and you now have a nice vacuum to use. Now, speaking of this vacuum functionality, this thing is great. Great suction, great power, works on hardwood, carpets, like you know the standard drill there, which is great. Now you're going, okay, what is the smart functionality with it, right? You've got Wi-Fi connectivity, uh, you can see the charging, you can see if your collection area is actually full. And also you can swap this out to uh, mop. It also has a mop attachment, which you can see here, allows you to do more than just vacuum with this bad boy. 
is absolutely amazing. And check this out. It's got this compressor tool here. So as you're filling up dirt, you just press it down and it presses it and compacts so you can do more with the 120 minutes battery lifetime. So it's awesome. And speaking of things that serve you time, let's talk about the Brava oven. This is one of my favorite things in our home because it saves you so much freaking time. So this oven actually cooks with light and it's sort of like a mix of everything in your kitchen. You can use it as an air fryer, you can use it to reheat your food, and you can use it as a, as a type of conventional oven. Now, how this works is it works with light and it has these different sections and comes with these different trays. Now, I don't know if you can kind of appreciate it from here, but it has these one, two, three sections, which means that you can actually cook your steak, you can cook your vegetables all at the same time. And the oven is smart enough to recognize the amount of heat it needs to apply to cook your food perfectly every time. And it also comes with this awesome app that allows you to learn recipes, to tell it what, how you want your steak. So if you want it medium, if you want it well done, the app will do that all for you. If you wanna know more, I will leave a link below for the full review of the Brava oven that I did a few weeks ago. We're going way in the bathroom, Thunder E. No, <laughs> this is not OnlyFans. This is a place that a lot of people don't think about having smart or connected appliances. I am not gonna be showing you today. Yes, I do have smart lights, but I'll start off with the Sonos Roam. And I like the Roam because it's small, it's portable, it is connected via Alexa or Google, and you've got something that gives you some really great sound while you're taking a shower. Now I also have this nice cabinet that I picked up from Amazon. It's got built-in lights, which is great, especially if you want to do your makeup or you are flossing or whatever you're doing in the bathroom. Now for me, the biggest thing here is the shower. That is the shower from Nibia by Moen. I've been using it for almost a year now and I've got to say, it's been a great experience. Now the version I have here comes with the wand which has the attachment on the side. And I like it because it is not connected in any form or fashion, but it's smartly built. The reason is that this thing uh, is easy to install. You can install it by yourself. You also have adjustability in terms of height. So if you're shorter or taller, the shower will work for you. But the greatest thing is that it uses 45% less water. So it's great for the environment, number one. Number two, it's great for my pocket because now that I own a home, I have to pay for my water supply and I'm using less water, which is great. But overall, using the shower and the wand together is a great experience in the shower. It's comfortable. You've got adjustability all around and honestly, Look, this is something I would definitely tell people to go pick up and check it out. They have different models uh, to pick from and something that might fit your style and look within your home. All right, so you guys have clearly seen that you can have smart appliances and smart things around your home that are not just light bulbs. And no, there is no OnlyFans edition for the bathroom section. Sorry, guys, I apologize. Anyway, if you guys want to pick out any of those devices or those appliances, I have the links for you down below. And if you wanna see how uh, you can control your smart home with just voice, check out my next video with, of course, controlling uh, my smart home with Alexa. Otherwise, guys, thank you very much and always enjoy your entertainment.